have received a box, a random box from Fluval. I was not expecting to receive anything, I didn't even know this box was coming my way, but I have it. It is there. And I'm going to open it up. I imagine inside there will be some merchandise, I'm hoping there will be some merchandise. I especially would like a hat. Um, but the fact that it says bug bites on the front of it, I'm imagining inside there will be some bug bites. But a new variety of bug bites that Fluval are very graciously giving me to have a look at. So let's open up this mystery box from Fluval and see what we have inside. This is the probably easiest unboxing I've ever done because there's no sellotape. This just mysteriously turned up on my doorstep the other day and I've been waiting to open it in front of everybody. Ta-da! Oh, there is a hat. A lovely hat. Very, very fetching. We have a cloth, bespoke, fluval cloth upside down. This would be very good, actually, because I'm always getting grease all over uh, this lovely fluval flex that I have. Get back to the rest of the box in a minute. I'm always getting grease and stuff all over this. So this will now be my polishing cloth for my fluval flex. One, two, three, marine. We've got some stickers. In fact, in fact, let's have a look under here. We've got lots of stickers. Whoa, lots of stickers. All sorts of stickers. Fluval stickers. I'm going to be sticker bombing everything now. Maybe I'll stick a bomb the lid of this tank, the lid of my Flex 123 with Fluval. Look at them all. Lovely. I like the blue ones actually with the um, sort of neon around them. Pretty awesome. And then we have the food. So it's obviously been rebranded. We've got some tropical flakes, big tubs as well. Brand new. Again, it's insect protein. I actually don't think they did flakes in the previous one. I think it was just pellets. So flakes. In fact, they're all flakes. So yeah, this must be a brand new range of flake bug bites, which, in fact, I think is a really good idea because although the um, the pellets were good, they sank quite quickly. So they were good for sort of bottom dwelling fish and things like that. But top dwellers like um, live bearers and gouramis and and angelfish which like to eat from the surface as well they didn't get it so much it wasn't so good for them I mean it was good but it wasn't you know the best um, so this range of flakes I'm sure will be brilliant for all fish we've got tropical we've got color enhancing and we've got spirulina I would imagine the tropical flakes will be the best seller um, but these obviously are specialized foods so you've got your, your enhancing ones for color for pretty bright fish and then spirulina flakes for your more herbivore fish what we're gonna do with these though is we're gonna actually feed them to my marine fish because they love it. There we have it, arranged very nicely. I should uh, work in marketing for Fluval or someone similar. Before we actually feed the fish with the new flakes, however, because I'm excited to see how they were. Now remember, I didn't ask this to be sent to me, it arrived. So I'm just gonna use it and uh, give you my opinion. What we're gonna do is we're gonna transform this dull lid Fluval symbol into a much more bright version and by doing that it's going to make this a uh, amazing version of the fluval bespoke version of the fluval flex one two three i've already got a sticker there you can see i'm really a lot you can see you can see i'm very excited over things like stickers stickers oh gotta be very careful very careful i only get one shot of this but actually i get another 30 shots because that's how many stickers i have there we go. That looks better. That looks better. Amazing. Amazing. We'll get rid of the junk. Anyway, let's take a look at the food. The new Bug Bites food. So we're going to start with the Tropical Flake. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be feeding it to my marine fish here. Especially these butterflies, angels, tangs and everything in here. They're all, they're all going to eat it. A lot of foods, even though they say um, marine or tropical on them, they are reasonably suitable for most fish. Um, I imagine everything that's in this tropical food 
will be fine for marine fish. Marine fish obviously needs certain oils and, and things that tropical fish don't need, but um, they get that from the brine shrimp and mysis and stuff I give them. This will give them other things, n other vitamins and stuff and nutrients that aren't in the, uh, the brine shrimp. So it's important to give a varied diet and by giving um, frozen and dry food like this, high quality dry food, you notice in here is a lot of protein from insects, so it's a good food for growing fish. Um, and there's also lots of other natural products in here. If I remember correctly from the last time I looked at bug bites, there was lots of things like peas and vegetables. Uh, I think there was salmon in one of them. So it's a good high quality food. Right, so the feeding area is over here. So if I zoom in, super zoom, extra super zoom, I don't think the long-nosed butterfly is really going to eat it, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, he does. Now that, that is something incredible because a long-nosed butterfly eating flake food, um, that's not something you see every day. You can see they're wolfing it down. Um, I mean, to be fair, marine fish will eat flake. A lot of people just give them frozen, but I like to give them a good mixed diet. So they're used to eating stuff like this. He, that long nose is really going for it, which is a... A real surprise. That is not what I was expecting. But compared to pellets, you can see it stays in the water column. I mean, we're all familiar with flakes. Um, we know what they do. But the difference, I guess, with these is the quality of the ingredients compared to other flake foods. I mean, a lot of flake food is full of ash and fillers and not very good stuff. Whereas um, bug bites are full of good stuff. So every mouthful, I guess, this is sounding like an advert now, isn't it? It's not an advert, I'm just discussing how I feel about this food. It's good, it's good stuff. So this is the colour enhancing one. It's slightly redder than, well, it's very much redder than the uh, tropical one. This means it will have natural colourants, basically, in here to improve the colour of your fish. It's very simple. Um, nothing artificial in there, though. You've got insect larva, black soldier fly larva, I believe. No artificial colours or anything in there, fillers, um, and you can see all the ingredients there. A lot of kelp. Everything's natural, basically. There's no rubbish put into this food. Um, I won't feed that one to this tank because um, I did put quite a lot of tropical food in there. And finally, we have the spirulina flakes. So spirulina is an algae. Basically, it makes it green. Uh, it's very good for all fish. I mean, every fish will probably have a go at this, and it's very healthy for them to have a bit of algae and spirulina in their diet. This is designed more specifically for herbivore fish, things that like algae. Uh, lots of live bearers tend to like algae, so it'd be targeted more towards them. And it just so happens I have got some, uh, some live bearers. I've got some mollies. Now you may be wondering what this plant is. This is Cheeto. It is, in fact, a saltwater tank. And this is my culture of saltwater mollies. I'm trying to breed them. This is my um, second generation. Unfortunately, all the adult ones that lived in fresh water have died. But here we have a lovely population of saltwater mollies. So they will love this because this is what they like to eat. Let's give them a little bit of food. Just lift up the lid and we'll pop a little bit in and we'll see how they go. Straight up to the top. So that's definitely a win. Oh, look, the ones on this side haven't had any food. They can see it through the glass, but they're not getting any. That's so sad. I might have to give them some after. I will be giving them some after because that's just cruel, isn't it? But yeah, look, here they go. Loving it. And that's the difference between the flake um, and the pellet. See, if this sits at the surface a bit more, um, there's not really any agitation here. So this is great for surface feeding fish. They can really have take their time to eat it and it's not sinking like a pellet does um, so ideal I think this is actually what I'm going to be feeding them going forward I'll leave this pot next to this tank and um, they will be eating on this and hopefully growing and I'll be getting my nice population of saltwater mollies nice and plump so thanks Fluval for sending me this stuff I really appreciate it I will be wearing this hat I've been after a new cap and now I've got one so brilliant I guess Fluval Bug Bites flakes are either in the store now or will be in the future. Um, and, you know, they probably will be more expensive than your other normal flake that you buy. But there's a reason for that. Um, you know, even if they're a quid more than the, the other food on the shelf, there's a reason for it. So 
don't just overlook them because you know it's a couple of quid more expensive it's good quality food. So thanks very much for watching. If you um, like the video, please drop a like below. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That is becoming more of a mouthful every time I say it. Thanks once again for watching and happy fish keeping.